Well, we kind of uh, didn't fully plan out something today, but we are at Black Point Wildlife Drive over in the Titusville area. And uh, this is approximately seven miles of driving. Vehicles longer than 29 feet, not allowed. Pass holders keep to the right. Today at Black, Black Point Wildlife Drive is a fee-free day. Randy's putting her boots on. <laughs> Gonna look real cute with skirt. <laughs> with a skirt. <laughs> Country. And <laughs> I have another pair of socks inside of my boots. <laughs> that is fair. Those socks look familiar. <laughs> One of the things that we do is we seek out trails that are absolutely stock friendly because a lot of people being introduced to the jeeping world uh, want to know what's a great safe place to go. You could come out with here with your street tires. There's cars that are out here. Uh, but it'd be really nice to be out here with your top down and your doors off. So the next decision we have to make with uh, approaching rain, do we take off our windows or not? Guaranteed we'll make it rain <laughs> is to put the top down. So I'm not gonna bother with anything other than throwing it back. Brackish water salt marshes, usually an abundance of uh, bird life and alligators. Uh, in the tidal creeks, you might be able to find a uh, salt marsh water snake, which uh, is kind of like a cross between a water snake and a garter snake. So Randy wants to stop and take some pictures of flowers. So we're going to stop for a second. Is it pretty to put in the video? What'd you say? I videoed him. Kitty. <laughs> there are eagles, ospreys, otters, banded water snakes. Uh, and hingas, bobcats, alligators, and marsh rabbits. So as you can see, this is very stock friendly. Take a walk on the quarter mile round trip, wild bird hiking trail to view wildlife from the different blinds that they have set up throughout the viewing. You can see that they have uh, binoculars, like viewing scopes. If you walk quietly, you might be able to hear a symphony of nature. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of red-winged blackbirds out here. It is uh, nice, gorgeous, a little bit different than central Florida because of the salt marsh and uh, the mangrove swamp provides a, a little bit of different atmosphere. It'll You can park over there and then on foot you can come out and you can see a little more birds. Tidal wetlands. Definitely set up for shorter people. Hey lady, huh? I'll drive. A little better view of the mudflats. 
Stop number five is life along the edge. The, there are water control structures that are left open year round to allow entry of lagoon waters. Uh, when the water recedes, it creates these mud flats for a variety of shorebirds. Uh, they can go through there and they can pick out shells and eat. Uh, along the roadside, you can look for these wildflowers. There's a, what they call Indian blankets, the dune sunflower, Spanish needles. These wildflowers provide nectar and resting areas for important pollinators such as moths, butterflies, and bees. Number seven. Hear that frog? <coughs> Got a couple of big frogs in there. So in addition to uh, the driving, there is uh, a lot of places where you can get out and walk. fiddler crabs hopping down some holes if you look down here we got remnants of a snake remnants of a snake and wherever you go always take pictures of the Jeep nice YJ when you're out in a Jeep, what you want to do is find people with other Jeeps because every Jeep has a story. I'm Matt and this is Brian. Brian. Hi. We're, nice to meet you. We're, we're out and he's works in Orlando, but he drives this Jeep. Uh, it is a it's a 94. 94. Jeep Wrangler Sahara. Uh, modified a bit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's pretty much bought it this way. Um, the story behind this Jeep is I bought this Jeep from a guy that uh, converts 94 Jeeps into the Jurassic Park uh, Jeeps. Yep. He does that for a living. Uh, he um, he also makes uh, DeLoreans into the Back to Back the, to the future, future DeLoreans. So uh, he sold this thing uh, to me about five years ago and and um, I repainted it and put a new top on there. and. Um, uh, put a lot of other things on here that he didn't have, like the the back tire, grab and, bars. Uh, yeah, the grab bars. The grab bars, which are twice as expensive on a YJ. <laughs> <laughs> as you I noticed. just recently, just recently, uh, put these on, um, so I could take the doors yeah. off um, without car carting them around. So. Um, yeah, that just recently happened like a couple weeks ago. And it's got air conditioning. Mm -hmm. And you were, you served, correct? Yes, yep. 23 years 20... in the Air Force. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, 13 years flying on the HA60G Pave Hawk. Wow. So that's what. John, the, you hear that? That kind of, uh, kind of the paint scheme was for that, but I got to make the gray a little bit, uh, a little bit darker for yeah. that. But... Figured all that out. 1994. And it is automatic mm -hmm. with air conditioning. 4.0 or, uh, or two point? It's a six, straight six, yeah. yeah straight six. So 4.0. Got it's got guts underneath it to run the tires, and uh, YJs are great. So what is uh, what is your favorite Jeep story of this in the last five years? Uh, yeah. Let's not look at the portlets. You can stand uh, in front of that. <laughs> there. Man, I, I don't really know. I mean, uh, the, the one thing that I love about this thing is. Um, Many years ago, I had a Corvette, and um, and that was kind of the thing when you were driving a Corvette, and you'd run into another Corvette owner, you'd wave or you'd, you'd flash yeah. your lights or something, and and so for many years I didn't actually have that. So when I started driving the Jeep, it was weird as I was driving around seeing people wave at me, and I, I wasn't expecting that. And so then I, I realized that hey, I'm back into a click again. Yeah. I'm, I'm back into a, a thing. The Jeep wave. Yeah, back into the Jeep wave. So I mean, it was it's fantastic to run into other Jeep owners and stuff like yeah. that. I mean, I don't really have any particular story. Uh, it's Jeep culture. About it there yet. is a YJ yeah. wave. Is there? Oh, okay. I did not know right, that. Right there. That, that, to me, that's when I'm in the YJ. Now, just to let you know, Randy loves her blue Jeep. 
but both of us have a favorite Jeep out of all of our Jeeps, and that is the YJ. So that's why I let my son borrow the 2007 so I could keep the YJ because nothing drives like a Jeep than a real Jeep. So, well, thank you very much again all for right, your service. You're very welcome. Nice Serving meeting you. you. And so again, right, you guys out, have, nice uh, you. Have, have a great time. The, the card is right there. I'll post right. it up and edit it out. All right, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Bye-bye. So every Jeep has a story. Well, this was Black Point. Wildlife Drive. Seven miles, easily an hour if you take time to stop. Uh, probably better earlier in the morning because once it gets hot, a lot of these animals they tend to find places to shelter in. Uh, the gators find some place with a little bit cooler, deeper water. Uh, and same with a lot of the birds. So right now it's the, the heat of the day, it's 1238. So get up early. Come on out here, and uh, for us, our next stop is to go find some place for lunch. And I know just the spot. Thanks for watching. We ain't done yet. We're going for lunch. We are at the corner of Alhambra and Washington, and we're at Steve's Family Diner, home of world famous fried chicken. They got some good burgers, some good chicken fried steaks. And we're getting ready to have lunch. I've been here before. It is definitely worth the stop if you're in the Titusville area. <laughs> it's water, right? Yep. So what did we get? Thank you. Chili burger. Oh, oh, a chili burger. Yeah. Tell me about the chili burger. It's homemade chili, <laughs> half pound of chopped sirloin with cheddar and white cheddar and one toasted to your liking. Perfect. Served with Asper side fries. Side of French fries. <laughs> and ketchup. And ke ke ketchup. <laughs> Randy right. had a steak this with spinach. This is Jack Daniels 10 ounce steak. <laughs> Jack Daniels 10 ounce steak. With the garlic mushrooms. Comes from a cow. Sauteed perfectly. Real cow, with real the meat. side of Jack Daniels sauce. We're fixing to eat and we got meat because I got carnivore teeth. If you come out to the Black Point Wildlife Drive, go early in the morning, come to Steve's Diner for lunch. You will be satisfied. Let's go right. grace. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Please yes. bless it. And then nourish our body. Thank you, Lord, for this time. In Jesus' name. Thank Amen. You. Amen. I don't even know how I'm going to bite this chili, chili <laughs> cheeseburger. Um, you me to hold the camera for you? No. Ready? That's a half pound of goodness. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, but it's time for me to eat. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want some more water or some more? And that's a small piece. I think I'm okay. come, yeah, they're pre sliced. So. A baklava <laughs> cheesecake. Chocolate cheesecake? What is it? A chocolate baklava cheesecake. I said it right. Yeah. You almost covered your ears like I didn't say baklava. baklava. No, I didn't know you were talking. Like, oh. Shut up. That's fine. Baklava cheesecake. Ah, uh, just another reason to come to to Steve's. Um, come do the wildlife drive. Come to Steve's Diner in Titusville, 2900 South Washington Avenue, Titusville, Florida. And now, I'm going to try this cake. <laughs> Ready? Mm. <laughs> That's good. Definitely good. <laughs> and, once more, I'm leaving fully satisfied. Steve's Diner corner of Alhambra and Washington in Titusville is worth a stop.
we're heading home. Kind of. <laughs> See you later. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you've just been on a Florida Jeep ride at Black Point Wildlife Drive in Titusville. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next ride.